Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. I have another set of prototypes to share with you guys. And this is again from Leong Ma's 2020 lineup. And we're going to take a look at the GSD, which stands for Get Shit Done, version 2. Uh, version 1 came out a few years ago. Um, it, it seemed to do pretty well, but this was a design that Leong has been producing actually for quite a long time. There was the production collaboration with uh, CRKT, uh, Columbia River Knife and Tool. And he's also had this one done with a few custom makers. This version that we see in front of us, the version 2, is actually most in line with a custom version that maker David Mosier made uh, a number of years back. I'm not even quite sure when. So um, I'm going to show you guys this one. Again, we're going to just take a look at it as an overview. Um, these are prototypes, and so I will talk about what is going to change on the production versions. Uh, ETA, um, I mean, we're looking at, again, assuming all things go well, which is not how 2020 has been thus far, but assuming that all things go well, uh, we'll likely see these, um, I think, August, September, maybe we'll plan on October, but later on in 2020 is when we can hopefully have these arrive and available. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open at least one of these up and show you guys what this looks like open. So as you can see, I do have almost the full lineup here. Um, there is a full titanium version. Obviously the heaviest of the bunch here with uh, full titanium scales. This one's not broken at all. I, I haven't really touched this one, to be honest. It's been sitting in its knife bag. I've been playing with uh, this one and this one. So the action is a bit more broken on the two that I've been uh, fondling. Um, we have a one with a full carbon fiber show scale, and then you got a titanium lock side. You have one with the carbon fiber inlay on both sides, which is again always super nice. Uh, burlap micarta for a great look, and then the green micarta that I have shown you previously. So I think I think from a camera standpoint, we're going to stick with the one I have been playing with the most. Um, again, my favorite version, no surprise, carbon fiber. You guys might be bored of me and carbon fiber at this point, but I am definitely not. So, um, you know, before we even jump into the specs, let me just say, wow. Um, you know, this one looked pretty good in, in like the in the catalog, um, you know, even when I got it in, I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. But as I have been essentially playing with this one, using it a little bit around the house, um, wow, what a great design. I honestly love everything about this knife, except for the few things that will be changing. So um, this is one to certainly be excited for, and it just does everything so well. Um, all right, let's 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 just get into the specs at this point. So looking at a blade length of just about 3.4 inches, handle length of about 4.3, 7.7 inches overall. You can see how it compares next to the Kershaw Dividend and the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Um, blade stock is a nice thin 0.145 inches and behind the edge um, coming in just about, I think it was point. 022, so thinner blade stock and um, even thinner behind the edge than the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Uh, very cool. Weight does range anywhere from 3.3 uh, ounces on the carbon fiber show scale up to about 3.95 ounces on whoops, this full titanium version that I almost dropped here. So um, those are some differences in weight there. The ones with the carbon fiber and the the burlap, I think they were about 3.7 ounces, give or take, and hopefully I said ounces on the weight prior and did not say inches, but I don't remember at this point. All right, so let's show you guys this one in a bit more detail, and uh, tell me, I'll tell you guys why I think it is so wow as compared to, I don't know, just a lot of other stuff these days. So it has kind of this really cool almost spear point drop point looking blade let's do some close-ups i think leong said these are hand ground and again manufacturing is done by riot 
but just a simple clean blade shape it's coming in with you know very reasonable blade stock thickness and it comes down to a nice edge so for everyday carry um, the blade is fantastic let's take a look at the tip gets pretty fine on that thing and again blade steel m390 but just a simple clean beautiful blade shape you have this I don't know cut out in the blade uh, you can middle finger flick it um, you can probably open it with your thumb but not well yeah there we go so you can it's it's useful for the most part but obviously it is meant as a dedicated flipper as the primary opening method but honestly the middle finger flick is very very simple for me as well so let's take a look at the flipper tab some nice texturing makes it really easy to hit and then the way that it slopes into the frame means that you know no matter where your finger lands you're gonna find the flipper tab you got a nice uh, pretty cool pivot here now this is a captured pivot I think don't quote me on this, but this is this is one of the first knives to have a captured pivot, I think. Um, something that Riot finally agreed to do. And so we just have the Torx uh, slot here on the other side. But uh, stainless hardware, which again, I am quite pleased with. I prefer stainless hardware since all my tools are stainless. Um, but it looks pretty cool. It's got a nice design to it. It's, it's definitely not an off-the-shelf type of hardware. And uh, being captured in hardened steel... Uh, again, great all around. Let's look at the action. Fantastic. And it's gotten a great sound, but one of the things that I really, really like is that it doesn't take a whole lot of pressure to send this blade just flying out. It, it has... Now, it stays retained, and I've tried shaking as hard as I could off camera, but, but the action just takes a little bit and it just flies right out. And then the lock bar pressure is also, you know, again, moderate. Um, sometimes to get a really good flipping action, there's a ton of lock bar pressure and you really got to crank down on the flipper tab to send it flying out. And then it takes a lot of lock bar pressure to get it off the, get it out of the way of the blade. Um, and again, I, I'm used to flippers so much that a lot of lock bar pressure doesn't really bother me. But this one just has such a such a nice, not delicate, just a very refined action to it. And you know, the cool thing is, since I have how many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five. I've got you know five different ones. I can confirm that the action is really good across every single one of these. Um, again, some of these are not as broken in as this one, but um, the action is very similar, very uniform across all five samples here, which is really cool because typically my sample size is one, and so I, I hope that they're all pretty close, but a sample size of seven gives me a lot more confidence to say that the action is wonderful. Um, all right. Let's talk about some of the changes. Um, we've got a cool 3D milled pocket clip here with the large ceramic ball kind of inset into it in the bag style. Um, one of the changes is that the clip will actually be longer and you guys might be like, oh, we like the shorter clip, but this thing has no spring tension whatsoever. The clip's too short, so obviously making it longer is going to give it you know, better spring properties and it's gonna function the way it's supposed to. So that's one change. Clip will be a little bit longer, but it'll actually work, which is super important. So um, looking forward to the updated clip on the production run. The other thing that will be different, um, so this is, you know, Leong's done this style a couple times, but it's just two pieces of titanium started life as thicker pieces, and they milled out all the center portion and connected the two like so. So you don't need standoffs or backspacer, just the frames form the backspacer. Instead of being flat like it is now, it'll actually be rounded or contoured on the top um, as opposed to just being kind of flat. So that's another difference. I assume that it, it'll make it possibly even more comfortable in hand, but um, you know, I don't know for sure. I don't have it in hand. This one though, from an ergonomic standpoint, is wonderful. Um, fits the hand very well. Has a, I have a lot of confidence in the grip, and um, yeah, again, it's just another example of just everything being just so dialed on this design. 
Action's great, design is great, looks great. Nice thin blade stock. I mean, everything's super duper on it. Got the uh, lanyard pin at the back. So let's do some close-ups now that we've hit the 10 minute mark. I know some of you guys come just for the close-ups and probably mute me the rest of the time. Pro tip, you can watch YouTube videos at variable speeds. So if you're not getting enough information fast enough, watch all YouTube videos at like 1.5. Lays are in there really nice. Really easy to access the lock bar. And again, just as a side note, I love when the inlays are done on both sides. Just a really nice, almost necessary touch these days um, because there's so many knives to choose from, right? So you got to go the extra mile and make it stand out. But all right, let me check my notes. Oh, prices. Whew, that's important. Um, so it, it'll range anywhere. And again, these are projected prices from like 350 for the one that's just a full carbon fiber scale. Um, these ones here will be like the ones with inlays like 400 to 440 depending on the options. Uh, the full tie, I don't remember, probably in the 400 to 440 range. And then he will have a super duper version. It's not here, which is fine. He didn't need to send it to me, but it's going to have um, Damascus steel, steel, which is that super nice version of a Damas stainless Damascus. Then it will have Moku Tai inlays. That one's gonna be an earth shattering 900 bucks. So if you really like the fancy stuff and you have the cash to spend, uh, you can get this one with some really nice materials. And again, I'm not against it. It's a great design. It is an, just a fantastic design and it's so well executed um, that honestly, for 900 bucks, if, you, if you're about the materials, you're gonna get a fantastic knife, so. Yeah, that, gosh, that's that's that. I mean, again, centering, lockup, never have been an issue. The heat treat, Riot's always done a very good job, so um, I really have no concerns about any of that. But this has been a look at the mini versions of the Liang Ma GSD version 2. So if you want to get some shit done, uh, great knife. Again, I... I don't know, I just feel like it's just a solid recommendation to you guys. Um, and I'm, I don't know, probably going to get the one with the carbon fiber inlay because I'm pretty basic like that. So thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. You can follow me on Instagram for mostly daily content. And I will see you guys soon. Take care.